Well, here in front of me you see two MacBooks. This is probably going to be a video like anything I've ever done before. So it's all going to be new and different to me. But you see two MacBook Pros here. They're pretty much identical. You can't see it, but one of them has a matte screen and the other is a glossy. And one is a late 2006 model, which was the first of the MacBook Pros to get Core 2 Duos. Then the other is a 2007 model. So in this video, I'm going to do like Geekbench, uh, so benchmark, seeing how much power it has compared to a dual 2 GHz 2005 G5 down there. If I go through the specs, it's going to be insane, but I'm not going to get to that yet. Uh, the one on the left is the 2007 and the one on the right is the 2006. Now the 2007 is one of the oldest Macs to still be able to run Mountain Lion and it can still run Mavericks because Apple still supports it, which is good by all means. So one of them has a power adapter. You can sort of see straight in the middle. I have it all lined up with the Apple logo on the screen. That was a pretty good idea because it seemed to work. But one has a battery and one has a, a power adapter. Uh, the test should be pretty equal because they're both on high power and the power option. So why don't we go with a boot up. And I will say that the 2007 model has an LED backlit display which is really really bright so I have both these going straight to the login screen uh, then I'm gonna have to click on the username and continue from there and of course the SSD has it and I have to say the, the 2006, or 2006 model wasn't very far behind so let's go ahead and do a login Oops. That was pretty uneven. <laughs> oh well. This one already wants to open Chrome. Alright. Shut down time. Three, two, one, go. And the old one had it. That was pretty impressive. And we're actually waiting on the one with the SSD. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on and I'm going to run some Geekbench tests and I will come back to you guys. That took so long. So I ran the Geekbench, and of course the left is the 2007 and the right is the 2006. So the Geekbench, how much time did it take? On the 2007 it took 4 minutes and 44 seconds. On the 2006 it, it took 32 minutes and 14 seconds. That, that was so much time I went to go get food and I did my homework. So, I don't know if you can see it right here on the camera or not, or if it's zoomed in, and if not, I'll take pictures of it, and then we'll go from there. We have 1143 for the single core score. <laughs> um, I guess that's what Geekbench 3 is, because uh, they must have just put that out. And then it's 1964 for the multi-core score. All these word loops. <laughs> So on the other one, we had 1232 for the single and 2177 for the multi-core. Now, just for comparison on iOS 7, I have all these results on my Geekbench. And I ran it on my Power Mac G3. Uh, and of course, it's by my feet, and I'm off to the left of the camera. That had, I wonder if I knew this. No, I can't. Um, anyway, the G5 had a score of 1844. That is uh, f just 
let me get it. I have it all wrote down. So the 1844 is the G5 dual 2K Hertz, and uh, the 2007 just barely smoked it. Now I have a 2013 MacBook Air. No, I'm getting this all wrong. I have a 2012 MacBook Air with a 1.8 gigahertz Core i5, and that gets for a Geekbench score of 61.59. That is pretty insane for what it is. And a Mac Mini with a late 2012 model that has a quad core i7, this was a server, so it had a 256 gig SSD, had 10,975, so they're just, just shy of 11,000. That's pretty insane. And then my desktop, which has a 1090T Black Edition, running at 3.8 GHz, gets a 9259. So a quad core i7 smokes a 6 core AMD, obviously. So that was just something a bit interesting. The next bit will be HD video. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Alright, so I found a 1080p test video. And keep note of like the lighting. I'm gonna turn up the speakers a little bit. Right there is really where you can see the brightness. Uh, my internet was having issues. And of course it does stream 1080p. But I thought that was a pretty good little comparison right there. And on to the next part. This is probably the most pointless bit, but hell, why not? So, I have them both here. You can see on the front, they both have wear on the little stretch to open it. We have the IR sensor on the front. On the side we have four screws, and on the bottom you can see all the dents. That's the 2007. Um, an express card slot, I believe. Uh, your headphone, your input, which I am glad these have them. My Air has a combo where they combine the two. Not all that useful. USB 2.0 and the MagSafe. And you can see on both of them, the MagSafe is pretty hammered. Now on the back, we have our little Wi-Fi bar. And like I've done in another video, if there, if these were PowerBook G4's antennas would be right here on the screen. So now on the other side, we have, well of course all the ports are the same, but I'll get to in just a second. We have the Kensington Lock, a USB 2.0 port, FireWire 400 and 800, uh, Gigabit Ethernet, and full-size DVI. So, if you're wondering why I said what I did, was on the very first Core Duo models, they removed the FireWire 400, or 800, sorry, and they just didn't have it. However, they put them back in future revisions. So, it's a lot lighter with just one of them. On the back, we have our little power indicator. It's this one. I don't know which one this is. Oh, this one's the 2006. <laughs> but you pull out the battery, which is just these two tabs. And right in here is where you take off the memory cover and access all that. You can actually see the dents and the light. But up there in the corners, you have your Ethernet ID, and over there, which will be a better picture for the specs of it, and like more info and stuff. And this one has all the rubber feet, the other one doesn't. I had to order rubber feet, I think it's like $15. So, not the best. Anyway, that concludes the video. Ah, this one's such a pain to open. I'll deal with it later. 
but I hope you guys all liked it, and hopefully I can get some more videos out like this. So talk to you later.